And welcome back, overcast skies, but balmy weather conditions, maybe a little showers off and on. Those thunderstorms really didn't develop. We do have a beautiful day of surfing. Groom conditions with this east-southeast wind. The Hawaiian Pro continues. Three more heats to go, and that's a tough one to go. So Ramsey might not be in this heat. Well, we don't see him out there, so that says something. There must have been something. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll figure that out as you watch Ace Bucket. We're taking a look at Adrian Ace and Buck and the Goofy Footer and junior champion. And uh, not only is a talent in the water, he's a great ambassador. As we take a look, Pete, his turns are beautiful. Well, and he's got one of the sharpest backhands. You know, he's been on tour for many years now. A lot of experience, especially here in Hawaii. You know, last year, so long here for, for me. I put so many energy in the last year. Now I'm. I'm feeling good. I'm relaxed right now. I just enjoy the, the moments I know. Um, and, he, and he's got the experience, right? He does. And he's done it before in the past here in Hawaii, especially at Sunset Beach. Take a look the way he serves. And just lightning quick. Adam Melling, Lennox Head, New South Wales, Australia. Adrian Ace Bucket. You know, you just hope that there's enough opportunity for all, you know, well, there would be four surfers. Uh, and this one, you know, it, it is a big advantage to only have three surfers in the lineup. Well, a couple of waves, uh, a throwaway wave for Buck, and here is Adam Melling, wave two, tucks into a barrel, finds a little doggy door that folds a little different direction. Not bad. Changing of direction, watch this, he sees that little wedge there, he pops it, throws that arm down, throws the brakes on, slows down, and then comes out of the barrel. Looks like he's got himself a little bit of an injury too. You know, he was suffering from uh, a nagging knee injury, surfing through it, get that knee solid. He's still wearing the brace, though, to keep sure, make sure that it's, uh, you know, top notch. But it, it's now or nothing for him. You know, he's got to make sure that he gets through a couple of heats here, which means he needs to make a few rounds here. Adam Mellon has won two prime events or QS 10,000 events, as they were known. And take a look, late hit for Adrian Ace Buck, and he goes down that runs, manages the tour. Guess what his nickname really is? I don't know. Surfing Bali. A sea cow came right up next to him, looked at him, and the surfers were laughing so hard. Uh, that would be Adam. That would be my godfather to my son, John, and also the best man at my wedding. Here we go. Looking at that left was uh, Adrian Bucking. You're really good with animals. Well, most of my friends are all nicknamed over animals. Here we go. That's some live action, Dave. Yeah, high line for speed. Then he tucks underneath, takes the low line, chasing this one the entire time. From the water. It's always nice to have that, uh, that angle. Tiago to the inside, going for the cover-up. He is a barrel master and another section he tucks out. Look at this wave out the back. It really got good yesterday afternoon. This is a barrel fest. Looking for it now, running and cutting. Adam Melly cannot make that next section. I think his best option was to try and get through the barrel. Let's watch first Tiago Perez stalling, dragging that arm. You can see he put that back foot right on the rail, doing everything he can to slow down as much as possible. Only option there was just a quick tube ride. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was another competitor inside of him at the time. Let's take a look at this one, though. Look at nice size set wave here, and he just had to get up into the pocket. And then that wave, unfortunately, just didn't stay open enough for him to shoot through the barrel. Pretty uh, difficult uh, barrel ride out here on your backhand, but we're going to see a couple of guys try. Adrian Ace Buck, and keep an eye on him. Tiago, wave number four. He's in the third spot, needs a 5.93, and just going to work like a journeyman. Wrapping around, Tiago, seven years on the World Championship Tour. Uh, when we were in Portugal at the Moss Rip Curl Pros, we watched the replay here of Tiago. You know, he was able to get, receive a wild card, and the fans in Portugal loved Tiago. Um, you know, he had probably not of his best performance. He would have loved to have uh, done much better there in that wild card position. Okay, well, the first one was in France, and it was over Kelly Slater. And I don't know the year, but I know it was a Quicksilver Pro as we watch him up and riding here. Take a look at that bottom turn, redirects, and he has just got the top turn wrapped around to the inside to the toilet pole. Ace Bucking. He gives back to the community. He's a phenomenal journalist as well. Right behind him, it's Tiago. Now he is in the toilet bowl looking for a little cover up. It's and have one more wave out the back. This is Tiago. <laughs> this is Tiago, and he will disappear. He'll try. No, he's going to do a big wrap. Here comes a disappearing section. No, he goes for the top. Well, you got to make that decision really quick because of the toilet bowl. It's kind of shifty in there. Do you go for maybe a cover-up? Adam Melling in that second spot. Tiago in third. Here is Melling looking to distance himself from Tiago. And we got a couple more little waves come through. Tiago showing uh, interest here. From behind the barrel and gets spit out into a championship tour win. 
Well, he's only surfed five QS events, so this one will easily improve his uh, total by just surfing in this because of the points. The QS events are varied. They can go to the, what, the 1500s up to the 10,000s. You can see uh, on the water there. Let's take a look at this wave. Beautiful, long wall. Tiago drops into this first section, lays into it. Full commitment, no bobbles into that late section and pulls it down. 9.6. You know, he does everything right. And, you know, I watch him. He rolls out. He does the rolling and he stretches and he works out. And take a look at Bucken here, looking to replace an 817. Yeah, he's been surfing that good. A pair of eights in his lineup here. What can he do to improve it? Well, some clean surfing. You don't see eight, but Ace Bucken make a lot of mistakes, do you? No, you don't. Um, you know, he rolls out his muscles, so he keeps them limber and loose. Let's take a look at this wave, though. Another beautiful backhand wave ridden by Ace Bucken. Upside down, you see how he puts his board above his head and throws a ton of spray. He likes to mix it up, doing different approaches in the lip. Some are vertical, some are more out into the face. Uh, I love when he gets upside down, where he actually gets underneath his surfboard. The ace bucket is going to let Tiago and Adam battle it out. Adam, look at this. Change of things here. He is on a backhand little left going into the channel. Melling looking for opportunity. It stands up. And he gets a final hit right there. Adam Melling looking for a 6.08 in the closing seconds right there. I love that he jumped on something. Well, he had to. Uh, you know, the, the thing was, it was a, a nice size set wave. I mean, it was a good size wave, but he was too deep in order to go right. Um, it actually would have been only one section had he gone that direction. So going the left hand route, he was able to fit in these two moves. You know, actually three moves. Gets two cars, and then the vertical on the closeout, whack. Um, you know, it could conceivably be enough. I mean, he needs a 6.08. I mean, this could be career stuff here uh, together. Oh, goodness. Can you believe it? It is not enough. And by what is that? That's just a two, two or three tenths of a point. Tiago Pettish does a dance through. Adam Melling, unfortunately, has been eliminated. Ace Buck and running away, throwing away.